Mamo! Go Jets! Woo! J E T S Jets Jets Jets. I want yeah, you to tell yeah, the yeah, world yeah. of how and how, uh, how you dated uh, Joe Namath. Well, you know, being at Adelphi, the Jets yeah. practiced right next to my. Actually, I need my, a drink for this. I'm gonna pour a drink. I'll be right back. Okay, pour it up. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, tell me about so Broadway Joe. Gone. To Broadway Joe. To Broadway Joe. To, to the Broadway show. Mm -hmm. Click. Broadway Joe, your ex-boyfriend. Okay. Broadway Joe. So <laughs> he used to come in after practice because their field, practice field, was right next to my university. Yeah. And he would come in and we would sit at the edge of the bar and we would talk and we would drink. And he's a really, really nice guy. So that's yeah. why I've always had this love affair with the Jets. That's why. Well, you gave me the Jets. So I was wondering why I got the Jets. <laughs> that's why that's you why. got the Jets. So I heard a rumor. Uh, Dad told me that you got your vaccine. You know, I that's am official? proud to show you oh. my... Dose one. Oh, look at you. Dose one. Fancy and then on the hell. back, yeah. it says, you come back a month later for dose two. Look at you dosing. Well, we're, yeah. we're, we're freeing up. I just came back from teaching our class at the academy. You know, we're opening up an academy as a part of the film studio. So I just came yes. back from doing that. And we're still distanced in the theater. There's still, you know, six to 12 feet amongst people. But people are starting to slowly trickle back into life. Slowly trickling back in the light, Mama. We're almost there, damn it. I, I know. There. I'm I'm waiting for it. So mm. here's a question about trickling. Oh shit. Okay, we're we're doing a trickling question. Mike, we're doing a trickling question. After my is there a, second is this question dose in nine parts? And my dad's second dose mm -hmm. and we quarantined for a while. Yeah. I really, really would like to go on a family trip. I I thought about this a lot, Vic. If there were one place other than your comfort zone, which is your home, where would you want to go with dad and I? Where would you like you to visit? You are putting me on the spot with this because you know, because this is a public forum. I got to commit to this bullshit right now. You've been waiting well, for this. Well, <laughs> You've been you know what? waiting for this. Well, you, you could change your mind. Okay, well, let's go to Italy I then. Let's go to Greece I, or Italy. If I, we're going to do it, let's do it. Let's go on a cruise to do the whole fucking Mediterranean situation. I'll drop the cash. Let's, let's throw, I'll, throw it, I'll throw it down. And we'll just do a we'll do a cruise. Fuck it. Fuck internet. Go on a cruise. Cause okay. mom pinned me into a fucking corner. I didn't think you. I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't know this, this fucking show would cost me this kind of money, mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it doesn't have to be the Caribbean if you'd like to see someplace else. No, the Italy. We'll do the Mediterranean. We'll do the Mediterranean. We'll do the Italy. We'll do the we'll do the whole swing. I, I would like the Mediterranean because I've always wanted to go to Greece and back to Italy again, where okay. you know my my in my all of my uh, heritage is. So that would be lovely. We'll think about that. Oh, uh, we will think about that. Is that the only question you have for me? Because that's a relatively easy question now that we're it, here. It, it is okay. So we got that one done. Okay. Um. Okay. So if you if that's a two parter. Oh, a two parter. If you if you could think about something you're the most proud of the mm. most you could say this was my finest moment and I, I know what was mine what but was let yours? me see if it what was yours? matches yours what was no yours? no i can't say that because if i then you'll say oh that's probably it well the proudest moment i mean other than the first you know the things i guess the proudest moment for me is this is a, is a larger scope question is like i've always chosen the path in my heart and I'm like, well, whatever. I don't know if it's gonna work or not work. And some things haven't worked. Some things have worked. But I've always stuck to my passion and my and my heart and be like, fuck it, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it's not gonna work. But I'm gonna give it a run and see what happens. And I think I've always lived by that. And you know, I've had you know, I've had several failures, uh, quite a few, several successes, quite a few. But I think if I can put a broad mask on that question, it is that. I've lived my life with what I call the power of fuck it. Fuck it. I don't, 
I, to, to think that you know everything, to think you can just say, hey, I know everything, how's going to go, I can measure this, I can do this, I have a plan for this, I don't know. I don't know anything other than, fuck, I'm going to try. And that's a broad scope thing. But the f- proudest moment would have been then the f- bec- a- a- making that actionable. No one thought I would be on a Broadway stage. Nobody. I mean, except for you. Nobody. You know that. We talked about this. No one well, thought I- that my fucking fat ass, at the time much fatter, you know, 280 and looking like a bowling ball, meatball, little bitch, whatever, see a Broadway stage. And the fact that in your in town, I could be an original Broadway show on an recording, do this, this, and say, all y'all, all y'all doubt of me, and here we stand. And then make that moment happen over and over again in the face of a lot of criticism. But, you know, that's what I will thank my football coaches in public because of the criticism they gave me. Like on some Hawks, you piece of shit. This is just, not, they've been out of love. But, you know, that carries over to whatever, say what you want. And the proudest moment was the first time I stood in a Broadway stage. I remember bringing you on stage after. Remember that? After we were opening on Broadway? And I, I and, I, and I walked you on that stage. And we stood there and we looked out. Remember that? I do. At the Henry Miller. We stood there and looked the out. Henry I'm like, Miller. yeah. And in, 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 in full disclosure, me and Hunter might have gotten a little drunk before the show. But <laughs> Well, Vic. That was my proudest when- moment, I guess. Walking on the stage when with I, you. When I got when I got that. the phone call in the streets of New York that yeah. you were going on for Jean Valjean oh, that Jesus. afternoon, and I ran to the theater oh, with your God. father yeah. and sat there and watched you nail a show that you had never rehearsed. Worst. I said, "People don't know that story. Only the people in the company know that story." Does that son have? I mean, that was when I when I say that was the really for me saying you could do anything you know that you know you know the whole story right well so that story is actually kind of crazy so i got a call because that was opening weekend of les mis at the time i wasn't playing valjean i was covering right and then so i was doing all the stuff and so pissarra calls me he's like victor um alex can't go do you know (laughs) it i'm like uh fuck man I don't know. I'll go. I'll show up. And I had not rehearsed because the understudies don't rehearse until after opening weekend because we do what we do, you know? And like, and I was like, and I showed up 8 a.m. and they started walking me through the show. Cameron McIntosh, the, all the whole cast. Now, the whole cast showed up. They did not have to be there because Gequity rules. They do not have to show up to a half. No matter what happens, they do not have to show up. Norm Lewis, uh, Norm Lewis, Daphne Ruben Vega, Broadway powers, powerhouses showed up at 9 a.m. Like, we got to get this dude through the show. And that's what the most support I've ever felt in my life was in that actual moment. And like, and I, and I was like, I was like, all right, guys, we're doing it. And Cameron McIntosh comes like, Victor, can you do it? I'm like, I don't know, bro. But if I fuck up, you can't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> to Cameron McIntosh. I'm like, I don't know, bro. If I fuck up, you can't be mad at me. Because I am rehearsing. You. And then so we made a decision. Like, what we're going to do is, in the spirit of the show must go on, Victor Hawks is going to do this thing. And you were in the audience. You told me the whole audience went, oh, shit. They, they did. <laughs> it, it, it was like, it was, and I'm sitting there, and nobody knows I'm your mother. And you felt and the I, disdain because like, it sold I'm out. <laughs> the, whole, I, the whole audience goes, oh, this fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this I, is about I, to go wrong. Ticket and this guy without, and you know what? They said that you didn't have a rehearsal. Not one. That they told Not the audience. Not a single one. And and then, I, I, and then and then so I was like, all right, what do I know? And then all of a sudden, like, jump is on and then you sell me like, oh, he ain't terrible. And that's where it changed. And after bring him home, you that's bring him home is the one you told me. Bring him home. And I couldn't feel it, but I I'm like, this is a song I know. I know this song. I have sung this song 950,000 times right. in your fucking basement. I, you, I, I'm like, the song I learned to sing on was Bring Him Home. So it was in the pocket. I could breathe and I sang that song. And I didn't hear it because I was so overwhelmed. But you told me they stood up and applauded for two, three minutes. They did. Shit. And, you know, all around me at the intermission, <laughs> his little old ladies are, well, he's good. But if he can sing Bring It Home, then he's got me. Yeah. I mean, they were waiting for that number. Proving and ground. I know you don't remember much of it because you were in that moment. I don't remember a single. I don't I remember that so, performance at all. I was so all. friggin' proud. I don't remember that yep. performance at all. I'm like, um, I got to the end. And I'm just, I remember weeping. 
at the end of the performance, I was literally weeping. And not, not because I was sad. I was like, I was overwhelmed. Like, the release of, like, Cosetism. On no space, a last night confession. Read it well. And I was like, I was just weeping. And Allie, Allie was like, bro, you're acting. I'm like, no, I'm just releasing it. <laughs> that was not an acting <laughs> moment. That was not a choice. I just, my body's like, yo, we got through it. And, uh, well, that's your proudest moment. My proudest moment is walking you on the stage for the first time saying, yeah, we did it. And then another version of, yeah, we did it. Lame is because I will. Yeah. Having not rehearsed that, that epic show and Cameron came in this, uh, my dressing room after the, after the, um, the performance is like, Oh my God, how did you do it? And I'm like, honestly, bro, I don't know. I don't remember. Come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> and when, I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> did I miss any? He's like, you got, it was perfect. I'm like, cool. Uh, I guess I have a, cause it was a Saturday. I had a matinee and an evening performance. I, I know. I didn't do it all again. <laughs> Fuck. Broadway. <laughs> Broadway, to, <laughs> to Broadway. Well, shit. Get your vaccine. Come to Texas and ask me these questions in person. Deal. It's a deal. I love you so love much. Love you too. I love Thank your scarf you. game too. It's winning. To you. <laughs> love you. Love you. Bye, Talk buddy. To you soon. Bye. Bye.